Welcome. My name is Professor Bond, and I'm today teaching you a chapter one of Ronald DeCocky's chapter one of his book, Strangers from a Different Shore. I'm going to share my screen right now, go into my PowerPoint, and then we'll go into the lecture. And let me take myself out of here. Let's see. There I am. Okay. Um, welcome. If, you're take, if this is the first time taking an Asian American Studies class, I wanna thank you so much for taking this class. And I wanna tell you that it is actually an honor and privilege to teach you this very important subject, which is Asian American Studies. And now we're gonna go over chapter one. So chapter one goes over Ronald DeConkey, uh, 1939 to 2009, his life and his first interactions of coming um, actually to Midwestern college. He was born in a third generation Japanese American family in Hawaii. He's actually a Berkeley professor, a long time, one of the starters of ethnic studies. He's a historian. He's definitely one of the fathers with Susan Chan of Asian American studies. And the thesis of this chapter is that Asians have been in America for over 200 years and their, their history bursts with telling. Now Takagi goes to Midwestern College and is asked, um, how come you know how to speak English? Oh, uh, he, your English is so good. And he's like, I was born in the United States. I'm third generation. And actually, you know, he realizes that, you know, there's actually like a really long history of Asian Americans um, in America and not even speaking about the, you know, the 66% of the world that's Asian, but in America, there's a long history of Asian Americans. And he's like, the history, there's so much history of Asian Americans. It bursts with telling. So I want you to stop and pause. And I want you to, I want you to ask yourself, who are Asian Americans? So pause right now, take five minutes or write down who are Asian Americans? And give me some examples. All right, unpause. Now, are Asian Americans the 2018 Asian Americans competing for the USA? Are these uh, Asian Americans? They certainly are. Different uh, shades and hues of different types of Asian Americans. Are Asian Americans these racist stereotypes? You got Apu and Simpsons, you know, uh, you know with this voice by a white actor, uh, Frank Azaria. You got, uh, uh, Lao um, character in King of the Hill. And then and, and now you have this whole, if you're interested in, in 2020, the whole COVID, there have been 2,000 anti-Asian events in America alone in terms of a lot of anti-Asian um, racist events, right? And actually, it actually, this great book I want to recommend that you look at is Contagious Dis Divide by Nalyan Shah. And she talks about it actually, this like feeling that Asians are diseased has, has a long history in the United States, right? And so again, uh, what is Asian American? I want you to think about that really. Now, throughout Asia, not just Asian Americans, but definitely including, is this idea of the yellow peril. Asians are diseased. Asians are uh, uh, exotic, erotic, uh, full of, uh, of, you know, negative things, right? And the opposite of that, but actually the equal of that is something called the model minority. Now, the model minority came up in, uh, for a long time, and it was like kind of the uh, uh, opposite coin, but the same coin of Asian Americans in that after uh, the, the internment, they said that Asian Americans are doing great. They said Asian Americans are rich. Asian Americans are wealthy. Asian Americans are doing great in school and they don't have any, they don't have, and they don't need any help, right? And again, um, but they're too smart. They're too wealthy, right? So you have this like, this idea that Asians are also taken over in this other way. So Asians have always had this like double bind, these double sort of negativity on the front and the back, either too dirty and too diseased and too uneducated or too smart, too overachieving, too um, taking all your places to Harvard, right? So it's very fascinating how Asian Americans have been. Now I could say Asian Pacific Americans, another way to say is APIs. A lot of people say Asian Pacific Islanders, or sometimes I say APA, Asian Pacific Americans, means the same thing. But Asian Americans are so complex. There are some that are first generation. First generation means that you were not born here and you came here, right? Uh, post age 18. 
Now, 1.5 generation means that you came here uh, before the age 18, right? So you're like more acculturated and, uh, you know, you know more than your parents who maybe came here in like 30s, right? For instance, I'm a 1.5 generation. Now, now we have the second generation of Asian Americans. We have third generation Asian. We have fourth and fifth generation Asian Americans. And they come from all over. Asia is huge, right? If 66% of the world is Asian, there's a lot of Asians, right, all around the world, and they come from all over, China, Japan, Korea, Philippines, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Vietnam, Laos, Thailand, Cam I mean, just Cambodia, and everywhere. And, and what is Asian America? So I want you to start thinking, are Armenians Asian America? Well, guess what? The, the line where Asia starts is kind of Armenia, right? It's like one of the defining lines. Um, if you're mixed, if you're half Asian or 25% Asian, lots of Mexican and Filipino mixes, lots of Mexican and Indian mixes, lots of African American and Asian. Are they Asian? Of course. What about adopted Asians? There's thousands of, of Asian babies that are adopted every year from Asia. Are they Asian? So again, all these complex identities on who is, is Asian American. All right. Also, Asian Americans uh, studies has came about. So the class you were taking was not easy. So I do want you to watch the documentary Agents of Change because I want you to understand people fought for this class. People died for this class. People starved themselves for this class. It was not easy. In 1969, uh, San Francisco State has striked for Asian American studies. Basically, they asked, hey, can you have classes about us? You have classes that are about our people and the majority and and can it not be racist? And actually, can it be taught by someone of a co-ethnic? So please, this class, you have to know, it's a very difficult class. And there, it's always under attack, right? You, this class is always under attack to be taken away, right? Because if they can take it away, they will, they will right? But ethnic studies, Asian American studies, is the only class that was demanded by the people. So that's something really different about this. And that's why this class is so special, right? By you taking this class, an ethnic studies class, Stanford University said that you will actually get higher GPA, you'll get, be happier, you'll have higher self-esteem, and actually you're, have, you're more likely to graduate. So this class is not just a class. It's a class that's really transformative. So I'm, love, I'm happy, lo happy that you're here. Asian Americans are bursting at the seams, as Ronald Dukaki says. We just had us, uh, we had three candidates for our recent, um, three Asian American candidates for president. We had Kamala Khan, we had uh, uh, Andrew Yang, and then we had a, a someone for a Pacific Islander, Ah, I forget her name, but she also was running for president. So really great stages. We have Mindy Kaling creating all these stories. And then we have on the big screen, we have uh, Crazy Rich Asians, which was the number one movie in its time uh, recently. And we have local history like B-Boys, like Hmong B-Boys in Southeast Fresno. So, ah, uh, so exciting. There's so many different ways of being Asian American. Now, if you look at Asian Americans now, in 2020, there's around 21 million Asian Americans. It's 5% of, of, of the population, almost six, if you, if you count kind of the undocumented. Now, the 2016 census, the largest ethnic groups are Chinese American, Filipino American, Indian American, Vietnamese American, Korean American, and Japanese American. But uh, overall, there's the fastest growing Southeast Asian groups like Hmong, Lao, Laotian, Cambodian. So there's also fast growing um, populations, right? And so I, I really encourage you to look up the demographic of the numbers of Asian Americans. Now, that is the end of chapter one. If you have any questions, please um, email the class, discussion place, and don't email me directly through Canvas. I'm going to be putting up a, a question and answer uh, a class action section that everyone can ask questions. And so welcome to the class, and I will see you next class.